sphere is a 15 foot wide, 500 pound sheet metal ball into which 692 holes are drilled. Light shines through the holes, and from inside the sphere, the night skies over Chicago can be seen. From 1913 until the Adler Planetarium opened in 1930, the Atwood Sphere was a very popular exhibit at the Chicago Academy of Sciences. In the 1940s, the sphere was used to teach celestial navigation to officers of the Naval Reserve during World War II. In the 1950s, the Academy changed the appearance of the sphere. Continents were pounded into it from the inside out to make the sphere look like an Earth globe. For about 30 years, the Academy of Sciences used the Atwood Sphere to teach constellations to visitors. In the mid-1990s, because the Academy was constructing the Nature Museum, the sphere was given to the Adler Planetarium for restoration and was put on display here in January of 1999. When you enter the sphere, you'll see the night sky over Chicago as it appeared in 1913. The star positions have not changed, but today, because of light pollution, dozens of stars are seen in the night sky instead of the thousands that were seen in 1913. Look for the thin wire stretching around the inside of the sphere. This wire shows the location of the zodiac constellations, the 12 constellations where the sun, the moon, and the five visible planets are found. Originally, a light bulb was placed along this wire to represent the apparent movement in the position of the sun throughout the year. Because planets also move, they could not be represented with single holes. The five visible planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, were shown by opening and closing individual doors cut into the sphere. A constellation is a group of stars that appears to form a pattern. In 1928, the International Astronomical Union recognized 88 official constellations covering the entire sky. There are 58 constellations represented in the Atwood Sphere. 30 of these have been painted to allow you to see the shape of the constellation. This is the Big Dipper. You can use the Big Dipper to help you find the North Star or Polaris. Use the pointer stars at the end of the bowl of the Dipper. They point directly to the North Star. The North Star is not the brightest star in the sky. Actually, there are 41 other stars in the sky that are brighter. The North Star is important, however, because the Earth's North Pole points directly at it, and it's visible all night long in the Northern Hemisphere. You can always use it to find the direction north. This is the Little Dipper, or Little Bear. The North Star is at the end of the handle of the Dipper, or at the end of the tail of the bear. Most stars rise in the east and set in the west, just like the sun, moon, and planets. A few, though, endlessly circle Polaris and do not set. These are called circumpolar stars. Constellations such as the Little Dipper and Cassiopeia are circumpolar constellations. They can be seen every night, all year long. So, see, that's actually called Queen Cassiopeia and her husband, King Cepheus. And this is Pegasus, the flying horse. His two back legs over here are also known as Andromeda, Princess Andromeda, their daughter. Over here going down is uh, Hercules and Bootes going under the horizon there. And Corona Borealis. And we've got any, uh, Pisces in here? Pisces, yeah. Yeah. Aries, yeah. Taurus, and Big Taurus. The Adler Planetarium is the only place in the world where you can see three generations of planetarium technology. The 1913 Atwood Sphere, the Zeiss Theater, and the Starrider Theater. The Atwood Sphere is an important piece of planetarium history. Thank you for visiting and learning more about the Atwood Sphere. On a future trip to the Adler, you can take part in our many adult classes, children's workshops, public events and programs, overnight camp-ins, and more. Volunteer opportunities are also available. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day here, and please return soon. Thank you.